Hi, I'm Ryan J. Cox. I'm the uh, editor of Chainsaw, a journal of the radical imagination, and this is our latest production vlog. Um, this uh, is our first in a while, and the reason for that is um, I haven't been able to do a lot of work on the journal because I haven't had time. Um, and this is one of those things I, I think I I, uh, I have two other takes of this uh, of, of this vlog where I, I talk to you and I try to talk about editorial ethics and things like that. But um, upon reflection, upon reflection, maybe the thing I should be talking to you about is how this works in terms of work. Um, because this is, this is an off the side of my desk kind of thing. I know we, I'm talking to you directly across my desk and, and all that, but this is a off the side of the desk kind of project. Um, and the reason I haven't been able to keep up with, uh, with the vlog, um, I have been kind of, uh, or the social media accounts as much as I'd like to is, we are, for all intents and purposes, a one-person operation. I have a number of colleagues and associates that I can call on uh, if I need work, if I, I need kind of opinions or uh, help doing things. But for the most part at this point in the project, it's me. It's just me. And it's a secondary part of my kind of professional activity. Uh, the primary thing I am paid to do, well, the thing I'm paid to do is teach. And uh, my course load is typically each year, a, I, I run a 4-4, four, four, uh, well, probably a 4-4-1 four, four, load. My classes are in demand here at the college. Um, and they're in demand because everybody has to take English. So, uh, I ran three sections of first year English this semester and one sec section of an upper year course on science fiction. Next semester, I have two sections of, um, a first year, one first year English course that's focused on research methods. Uh, I have one section of a course on indigenous uh, literature in what is currently Canada. Um, and I have a what is effectively a cultural studies course for uh, our environmental science pr uh, program. Um, and I think, if memory serves me correct, I don't have to teach this spring semester. Uh, but I'll be doing course prep and course development, and I think I've uh, in writing, and I may have to teach. That's that's one of the possibilities. Um, when you have multiple sections, uh, uh, so uh, I don't know how much most of you know about how kind of teaching works, but uh, the way I set up my courses. Um, the major assignments come later in the semester because they, they're weighted heavier and I want to develop student skills before I give them the heavy stuff. Uh, this means in the last month of classes uh, or of the course, um, all of the major stuff comes in. And it's, it's heavy. It's heavy. Uh, I marked a lot. <laughs> I marked a lot. I marked three major, uh, I've marked two major assignments and started marking exams in the past month. And that's largely what my kind of professional life is. Um, there have been a couple of cases where I've also been teaching new stuff, which means I've had to develop that stuff alongside, uh, alongside all of the grading. So I come to work and I mark. I occasionally kind of will block out space to do all of the administrative stuff that I have to do in the regular course of my job. And then, and then, 
if I have time, I work on one of my other projects. So I, I write book reviews to kind of contribute to the uh, contribute to the field. I um, uh, I still do research. I'm working on <coughs> a couple of research projects right now, um, and I do this, and that that's a lot. Uh, and the extra stuff, the research, the reviews, um, all of that scholarly activity isn't re necessarily reflected in my workload. Uh, it's occasionally deemed nice that I do these things, but I'm not necessarily paid for it. There's a, so a good chunk of my time is taken up doing my regular job. And then... And then I get to do stuff like this. And I do stuff like this. I do stuff like Chainsaw because I find it satis uh, satisfying. Um, this is a big research project for me, right? I get to figure out how, how poets I've studied or looked at um, did it. Uh, I get to look at kind of alternative modes of uh, artistic and literary production from doing it kind of that experiential research the I'm gonna learn how to pull all of this together by pulling all of this together um, the problem with that on uh, on a kind of big scale is that uh, I it wears uh, sometimes I'm tired and sometimes I just don't have time to do this kind of stuff it's not that I'm not paying attention it's just I can't so the funny thing about this is um, that, from my understanding, this problem that I'm outlining here, that uh, this kind of supplementary academic work that is essential to the continuance of the profession, that's essential to literary and artistic production in Canada, if not the world, um, these things are a product of sacrifice, of people giving up their time, giving, uh, giving of themselves in order to make something they deem of value, to provide something to the community, to participate in that community. Uh, and it's not necessarily something we recognize fully as being a problem of labor. Scholarly labor, it, scholarly labor is kind of weird, and it doesn't ever get treated, it gets treated as labor in the, mo, in the most bizarre ways and at the most bizarre times. So the reason I haven't been keeping up with this is because I have to work for a living. This is a thing I'm going to do. This is a thing I'm going to do, and it's a thing I'm going to do because I want to do it. And I'm going to do it because I think it can, can make me a better scholar and teacher. But it's hard. And it takes time. And occasionally I'll get buried under a big pile of papers. And I won't have time to do it. I won't miss my deadlines. Incidentally, um, the first uh, or the deadline for kind of submissions for the first uh, issue of the journal is January first. You can email those submissions to Chainsaw W R uh, No, I'm sorry, Chainsaw J R I at Gmail dot com. That's our email. Uh, and I've set it up so it actually forwards to my work email so that I get a day or night. Um, I've talked to some people about submitting. We have some submissions where I have other people who are kind of working on my behalf, kind of feeling people out for submissions. If you're thinking about it, do so. Um, I won't miss the deadlines. We're going to make everything work. But occasionally, some of the supplemental stuff will kind of fall by the wayside. And I'm sorry for that, 
but I'm also this is all I also work in a profession where self care is a concept we are only recently learning. And so if I don't have time, I don't have time. I have to I have a family, I have my health. And so, you know, you gotta worry about those things and not burning out and all that. So I think the thing I'm trying to foreground here is that this is part of labor, and it's complicated labor, and it's problematic labor, and it's labor I'm going to do anyway because I'm conditioned to do so. I'm conditioned to work. Um, yeah. And if I seem to be falling behind, it's because I'm working. Always working. Except... Except what I'm not. <laughs> I get a holiday some time, right? All right. Thank you very much. Again, you can follow us on uh, social media uh, at uh, on both Facebook and uh, Twitter. Our uh, account is at Chainsaw Zine. Um, again, the email to submit or even just query the journal is at Chainsaw. J or I'm sorry, not at Chainsaw. Chainsaw J R I at gmail dot com. That comes and I will, I will answer your emails. Um, yeah, thank you for listening to this. Where it sounds, where I complain about work, um, but it's not really complaining. I can't. I can do other things. I just don't want to. Um, but I think it's also healthy for uh, those of us who work in kind of literary and artistic, uh, uh, literary and artistic arts, I guess artistic arts, liter uh, literature and the other arts, and in uh, the academic world to talk about how we work because we don't enough, and if we start if we talk about it more, we'll all kind of we can start working on fixing it. I have thoughts about that too. Um, if we go down that road, it's just going to be a bunch of gritty memes uh, and uh, me shouting, I don't know, songs from the Little Red Songbook. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much. Uh, hopefully I'll be back next week with more to tell you about something. Maybe about editorial ethics. I have been thinking about that. Um, yeah, and... Maybe to wish you happy holidays or whatever you celebrate. Thank you very much.